Welcome back, Zergay fans, to the tournament recap for September 21st, 2019 tournament. I am your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we are into the second game. It's going to be 400 and Firepluck up against Golden User Ride. We're on Random Crags, a map, which is random, as the name suggests. And Craggy. And has issues with map extension, apparently. Yeah, I guess because it is... The texture is generated on the fly. It doesn't actually work with the map extension properly. That is a bug to be fixed in future versions. But for now, we're just going to have to have a black outline for the map. Anyway. So, with that, Golda is going for Cloaky. Is right going for Spiders? Similar to the last time. Fireplug going for Gunships. And 400 has decided to just forego a factory for the time being. So, I guess we're going for a bit of a Gunship Cheese coming in from Fireplug, which is... Not a surprise, the surprise will be whether or not Firepluck resigns if it fails, because that is how Firepluck is a tendency to play. Okay, Cloaky is for 400. Alright, so Cloaky Gunship versus Spider Cloaky. Which I can see why, I mean, this is a craggy, hilly map. Spider makes a lot of sense because of the hills. Cloaky, I guess makes sense because it's a tiny map, and you don't really know what the terrain's going to be like. Although, it is known when they started. Like, it's not like they have to explore the map to figure out the terrain. This isn't Age of Empires. You do see the entire map from the get-go. You just don't know what the map is before the game starts. Although, to be fair, it is a very famine map. Like, wow, there is hardly anything. There's hardly anything there. Just, I mean, what is this? Ten metal here? I guess it's not bad. It's ten right here. Down over here. Oh, I guess, okay, for this size of map, it's actually not too bad. Just, it's not very dense, that's for sure. But there is a reasonable amount of metal, so it'll be fine. Probably 30 for each side pretty easily. Which for a 2v2 is reasonable. Not huge, but reasonable. Although I worry this is going to end up playing out like Baron, where the center of the map just ends up becoming this no man's land that you just end up having 20 minutes of fighting over. But probably not, especially with all the guns being flown around. Although it's primarily Fireplex doing the gunship fighting. There are, however, a few gremlins being built up just to make sure that that is going to be kept in check, just to keep Fireplex honest. But oh, wait, <laughs> wait, the gunships got stuck in the trees? Wow, those are some tall trees. Actually, they kind of maybe there's a issue with the fact that that is a random map. Like, so it doesn't quite properly handle all the positioning. Although I think it would, because the, the elevation is still going to be correct. Has to be. At any rate, we do have Gota showing again how strong... Or no, that's not Gota, that's his red. Oh, it's Gota, yeah. Gota showing how strong the micro is here. Getting rid of a lot of the glaze coming in here from, from 400, and it's, well, not quite enough. I mean, it still gets rid of a few, metal, or a few wind generators... Doesn't we get rid of any metal extractors, though? So ultimately, Golda just ripping everything apart. That's far Is that Fireplug's entire army? No, they have they have two locusts in play, one under construction, and trying to find some way of making use of them. But at this point, it doesn't seem clear that there's actually going to be any way they're going to be able to do that. Yeah, Fireplug not really in the best of positions right now. Ooh, at the same time, there is a nice little reaver coming in here, getting rid of a couple of the gremlins opening things up a bit for fire plugs so they can actually start maneuvering a bit more with the locusts though to be fair this tarantula is going to be a bigger problem now fire Pluck no longer trying to fight golda directly instead going over to the south but at the same time oof that reaver golda can micro as best they want but no the reaver is just going to stop that completely so what is golda switching to nope still glaives they're not going for anything else they're not going for rockos the way i expected them to or ronin rather the way i expected them to same time, Firepluck is going around the back. Gota does see it, though. Yeah, the radar's there. Gota coming in here with the Glaives. It's not really going to matter all that much. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised Firepluck is going for Locusts. Harpies one-shot Glaives. So to me, that'd be the better option, since you could just basically hit and run, get rid of Gota's Glaive army, and not worry about anything. Though, to be fair, that's kind of what these Reavers are doing as well. Get in here, wipe out, you know... Everything they find. Get rid of the lotuses, get rid of the glaives. Nothing can really stop them. And actually, I quite like the way the 400 is just pulling them back as they need to. 
And of course the Glaive's coming in here, but not really able to do all that much damage because that's what happens when Reavers start ripping everything to pieces. No! No! Ah, did not micro that in time. That could have worked out really well. Same time though, there's the Redbacks coming in doing basically the same thing on the other way around. Redbacks and Glaive's coming in, it's gonna be a bit tough though. Because again, the Glaives can't really fight over to the north. They're trying to fight over to the south, but it's it's running into problems. On the other hand, that Recluse, yeah, there's not a whole lot that Recluse is going to be able to get hit by at this point. And the Locusts are going to come in here, but the Tarantula is already in position. Easy Ride is well prepared for this. They know exactly what they're doing. They have no worries whatsoever. And economically speaking, the two teams are pretty close to even. The Northwest team is a little bit stronger, but they don't have as much in the way of production capacity, so they're actually about even. In fact, I would say the Southeast team, I'd say Goldie and Ezerite have a little bit of a stronger position overall because their production is stronger. At the same time, though, that Reaver. That Reaver is just making Goldie's life more and more miserable. To be fair, the Glaives are able to run around the map. Uh, the Reaver's doing what it can, but it can only go so far. It can only do so much. It really kind of has to force a battle and push these glaives back. But honestly, Golda doesn't care. Golda is rushing in. Farnan's commander is completely... They're dead. That commander is done. Six glaives is more than enough to take out a commander. And they will do exactly... Oh, no. Just barely. Perfect timing in the upgrade. Oof. 400 barely saving their commander, but it's not going to be enough. The glaives do get burnt out. And with the... Oh, the commander goes down just barely. It had the right weapon, too. The par light particle beam was a great choice to get rid of the glaives, but that is still going to be it. However, all of those glaives did go down. Golda still has hardly any glaives, but that's not going to be enough. The Northwest team throws in the Tatooine Fire Pluck. Yeah, Fire Pluck throwing in the Resign. Of course. I think 400 is pretty confident, though. Like, Fire Pluck, they're obviously not very confident because they've lost... They keep losing their Locusts. They don't really have a whole lot of ways of assaulting. But 400 is probably thinking, you know what? I've got loads of forces. Get rid of whatever I come up against. Reaver Ronin combo is not being countered. Gota is not building any Reavers around on their own or Snitches. Sorry, it's just Imps. Like, Imps would actually be a really great choice right now. But, no, we're not seeing that either. So yeah, there's nothing that's actually being done to stop this force from 400 coming in here. 400 and Fire Pluck, as long as they're able to keep consistent damage in here, I mean, the thing is, Glaives are not going to stop this. The Reavers are going to be able to put an end to everything. Now, to be fair, 400 is kind of getting their position, their units out of position, losing a lot of Ronin for free. They do need those Ronin. Like, that is a necessary part of this combo. Although at the same time... Oh, they're not building anything. What the heck? Really? Why not? What is being built? I mean, is there... Oh, I see. The shield buff factor being built instead. But that's not producing anything. So I'm not really sure what the goal here is. And ultimately, not a whole lot is being done. And now, of course, the run and are in play. There's... Uh, from Gota, that is. So really not a whole lot is going to work. Because I think 400 does not have many options from this point. To actually tear apart Golda's base. I mean, they're going to try. They're pushing in. The Reavers are going for it. But one Reaver is not going to be able to deal with two or two or three Lotuses. It is going to die. And no one is going to grieve it. I mean, over to the south, these two Reavers will at least be able to get rid of some of the defenses. Yeah, they'll, okay, they'll be able to get rid of these defenses reasonably well. But one of them is going to die. No, never mind. Not quite. One of them is almost going to die, though. Very nearly dead. At the same time... 400 gradually losing more and more territory. While well, 400 Fire Pluck both gradually losing more and more territory. Ah, that has got to suck. I mean, it's just on both sides as well. Oh, okay, there's that Imp, but still. Both sides as well. It's not really a whole lot stopping this in any way that's actually defensive. Right, there's attempts coming in here from Fire Pluck, but again, Harpies would have been a great choice. I don't understand why Harpies were not built. I know someone's going to come and it's like, oh no, Harpies don't do this or Harpies don't do that. It's like, Harpies one-shot Glaives. Harpies aren't that expensive. They one-shot glaive relative to locusts, and they one-shot glaives. And Golda loves their glaives, and they're great for hit and run. So you don't have to worry about having them stay in the middle of a fight, getting torn to pieces by anti-air. You just attack with them, and then you you leave as soon as any problems come up. It's really quite simple. So I'm honestly not sure what the motivation there was to avoid that, but whatever it was, 
yeah, that is no no harpies. I guess they're just not really popular, but they are useful. But yeah, like I said, I'm sure I'm going to be getting into some arguments later on in the YouTube comments of this video for why harpies are not the way to go. I mean, at this point, the game is... It's it's kind of a... I don't know, really, if there's anything the Northwest team can do. I don't think there is. 400 is certainly trying, and I applaud them for that, but I don't see anything. With all the reclaim being taken by Golden User Ride, the fact that the amount of territory Golden User Ride has, it just isn't going to be going... Yeah, it's, I mean, fire, I agree with Fireplug here. It is over. I mean, they're trying, but no, it's over. The Northwest team just does not have the resources. They don't have the territory control. I mean, the Blast Wings are trying, and they're doing something, but again, that's still a lot of suicide for not a whole lot of value. And all that value is being reclaimed by Izzeride. So it's actually not even helping, because ultimately it's just a metal donation. I mean, 400 is probably getting annoyed, because they're probably thinking, Oh no, I have a thing! I can do a thing! It's like, no, Fireplucks got this right, actually. Like, I, w I would agree with Firepluck right now. They're... They kind of know what they're talking about. I mean, it's going to be tough. Maybe there's a... A plan 400 has, but I don't... S I mean, the resources are kind of out. The Now, the resources are too low. Like, there was that one shot that came in with the Reaver Ronin. But that was it. And there it goes. 400 throwing in the towel as well as Firepluck. So, Golda and User Ride take that, and I think at this point, stage we're like 2 0. So, yeah, that's. Yeah, so that was that. We have. Game that honestly kind of got. Like, it felt like there was a reasonably good chance for. for 400 and Firepluck earlier on. But, yeah, Northwest team. had a bit of a harder time. Although, I think things are doing really well for metal income for a lot of the game. Metal production was good. It's the excess was a bit of a problem. That's for sure. Army value was a definite problem. And there was that section in the middle of the game where the Reavers were doing a lot of damage. Actually, let's check individually. Yeah, 400 Reavers were actually doing a lot compared to Golda. But Izzerod is constantly building up and Firepluck could never really get a consistently large army. And that's where a lot of it came in. Although, again, it was fairly efficient coming in there from the Northwest team overall. It just wasn't great by the end of the game. And a lot of those dead locusts, that was a problem. Which was the reclaim, too. Oh, the reclaim was about the same. In fact, the Northwest team had better reclaim for most of the game. Anyhow, that is going to be that for that game. So we're going to be moving on to round three on a non-random map. It is going to be... What map is it going to be? Oh, it's going to be Vantage. And we'll be checking out how Dyth Norn Sky went against Google Frog and Aquanim. So Dyth Norn Sky, another team. We haven't seen the next match after that will be the last team we haven't seen. Because there were six teams in this tournament. We have currently seen three of them. Wait, were there six teams? Oh. Yeah, we'll see them all eventually. Anyway, so we'll be getting back to that in a couple of minutes, so stay tuned.